Hi Aries, welcome to your mid-July 2020 general love reading. This is your girl mermaid scales tarot. Aries, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe and healthy as you watch this video at whatever time you decide to do or are guided to watch this video. If you're new to the channel, welcome guys. Thank you so much for choosing this video. I hope that you gain the insight and clarity that you seek by watching this video in regards to your love life. And if you've been subscribing with me for a few days, a few weeks, months, or even a year, welcome back guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support of myself and the channel. I hope you gain that same insight and clarity that you seek in regards to your love life by watching this. So let's go ahead and get into the brief introduction. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other important placement you feel drawn to watch by clicking on this video for the sign of Aries. This is not going to resonate with every Aries that listens to this message. Messages are said for those who need to hear them the most, and that's how my intuition and guides prioritize the messages that I provide during this reading. If this reading isn't for you, Aries, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Also, Aries, it's important to know that not every message in this reading will be for you, and that's completely okay. Please leave what doesn't resonate for someone who needs a message. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in an Aries. Who wouldn't be? I do have to say that Aries and cross watchers, it's important to remember that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation where the roles are flipped and reversed. If that's the case, you are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles. However, this is an Aries reading, so I will make Aries the main subject of the reading. All right, guys, let's get started. Let's get started. So Aries, I am going to ask and tap into an energy that's around you energetically that has romantic and or, you know, romantic feelings and or attentions towards you. Yeah, I mean, clearly I'm feeling that Mercury retrograde shadow. Thank goodness it finally came out of retrograde as of July 12th, but the shadow energies are still there. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, or you could have Virgo in your chart. Aries, I'm getting the sense that someone is afraid of losing you. Someone is afraid that you're no longer interested. Someone's afraid that you're almost ready to move on. They feel that your energy has been pulled back. They feel that whatever was like the fire and the passion that started the connection has kind of dimmed down. And I feel as if they don't know what happened between the two of you. Although it may be very obvious for you, Aries, of what happened, they feel as if they're kind of lost. But some of them are hopeful that this is just temporary or just like a little dip in the road, a little bump in the road. Because ultimately, we have the temperance card here. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. I also feel Libra energy with that card for me as a reader personally. So I don't know if you have Libra in your chart or you could be dealing with a Libra. But they're afraid that you're losing interest or they're afraid of losing you because they feel as if you were brought into their life to be their forever partner. With Temperance card, it's very much a guardian angel, divine orchestration card for me. It's as if 
they feel that there was a purpose with this connection that has been blessed by the divine in some way. They also feel as if maybe that there's some divine timing that's at work here that is, you know, the reason why you two are separated or stagnant. I, I do feel like you guys are still somewhat in connection with one another, but there's slowly, slowly uh, you know, a bit of a distance between the two of you romantically, maybe even physically for some of you. You could live in different cities, you could live in different countries, different states. Hmm. I almost feel as if there was a period of when things were moving fast, you guys were really in love, things were blooming, but it, it, it kind of stopped, it's kind of halted in some way. And they just want to know why, in some sense. Or even if it's not wanting to know why, it's wanting to know what they can do to not let you go. They're very, I, I feel fear here. I feel fear. And it's kind of similar to the last Leo reading I did. So I don't know if some of you are connected to a Leo or you have Leo in your chart. But at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Some of you could have Taurus in your chart. You could be connected to a Taurus. But this person wants stability with you, Aries. They feel prosperity with you. They feel abundant when they're with you. They feel as if they have everything when they're with you. Not only do you provide the passion, not only do you provide the love, but you provide something for them that makes them want to hold on to this, that makes them want to grow this, that makes them want to see the potential and where things can go between the two of you. They have a lot of plans. They have a lot of ambition in trying to make this work. But I do feel, feel excuse me, a sense of worry, a sense of if you are gone from their life, what stability will they have? I'm hearing you're my rock. I also get like I'm seeing this energy of someone like hugging someone from behind, but like their arms are over someone's chest and you know, like their head is kind of at the nape of the neck of someone. But I'm just hearing, I don't want to lose you. Or I don't want to let you go. Let's dig into this a bit. So, how they feel about you, the Hermit card, the card of Virgo again. They feel that you've withdrawn from them. They feel that they've lost that fire, that passion that was once in the connection between the two of you. They feel a bit lost. They feel as if they are left in the dark in a way. I don't know if some of you may have like cut communication from this person, blocked this person in some way, completely withdrew from this person. But I am getting a huge sense of missing what once was between the two of you. I don't know if you full have, fully have broken up with this person or just stopped con contacting them and if that's the case, they're going through it right now, Aries. I almost get a sense that they're, they're thinking that you would rather just be single than be with them. Well, let's let's go ahead and clarify the hermit here. Why is the hermit here for my Aries? There we go. Six of Swords. Aquarius energy. Some of you could be dealing with Aquarius, or you could have Aquarius in your chart. Some of you may have moved on from this person. Maybe some of you moved away physically to, you know, a different location whether that was because you wanted to just 
move and live somewhere else, you weren't happy with where you were living, or you may have moved for your career, moved for your job. But someone feels as if you just have no more interest in them, that you have moved on maybe even to someone else. I'm also getting a sense for some of you, if that's not the case, that someone just wants to know where you are mentally with this connection. Where do you see things going? Where do you... I I'm also getting a sense of a longing for communication with the Six of Swords. It's interesting. Like They want to reach out. They want to communicate. But they're holding back with the Hermit card. And with what they think about you, Aries, the Two of Swords, oops, let me pick that up. Two of Swords energy, Libra energy. Some of you could have Libra in your chart. You could be dealing with the Libra. I feel as if, Aries, you left because they refused to see something that was making you unsatisfied in the connection, making you unhappy in the connection. And I feel as if you guys tried to leave hints, you tried to even flat out say what was making you unhappy. Maybe there was a lack of um, motivation, a lack of ambition, a lack of appreciation for some of you. And it frustrated you that it is as if they never still got it after you tried so hard to make things work. And so I feel, Aries, you had no choice for some of you but to kind of block them, to pull back your energy. You weren't going to fight for something that someone wasn't putting effort towards, that someone wasn't trying to grow with you, trying to prosper with you. I feel maybe for some areas, like they came into this connection, came into this relationship with the King of Pentacles energy, promising you a bunch of things or telling you what they want. They want a committed relationship. They wanted to take this to the next level. They wanted to expand this. They wanted to grow this. But then you never saw anything come from it. You never saw anything blossom and, and you felt like it was just all talk, but nothing was ever being shown to you that made you feel as if this was worth being a part of. I almost feel like, you know, there's someone out there that was just kind of like, oh, one day this will happen or, you know, not right now is not the good time. Right now isn't where I want to be in a relationship, but, you know, eventually. And Aries just couldn't hold on to these false hopes, false promises. And I feel as if that is what made you walk away. That is what made you pull away. That is what made you decide that you're not going to stick around waiting on someone to just fulfill a half-assed wish or a half-assed committed or, you know, devotion, I guess is the best word to say. So, you know... I also feel as if Aries, if you guys have left this person, if you have pulled back your energy, they are trying to stop thinking about you. They are trying to move on. They are trying to block the thoughts of you out of their head or, you know, those only if I did this, only if I could do that, but it, it's not so successful here. It's there. It's almost as if the longer of time you guys are away apart or not talking or not even showing, it's like a lack of passion, a lack of love that this has grown into. And I also almost feel like as if someone's just not accepting the end of it. Someone's not accepting that this truly is over between the two of you or that I'm hearing like irreconcilable differences <laughs> Like that it's just, you guys just lost interest or that at least Aries, you lost interest. Because Aries does not, Aries doesn't wait on anyone. Aries is a go-getter. Aries sees what they want and goes for it. And if it's not something that they thought it was, they'll leave it behind for something new. But if you, 
if you have left this person, I mean, it's very, it's becoming very, very hard for them to move on. What they like the most about you, Aries, is the Three of Cups energy, Cancer energy. Some of you can have Cancer in your chart. I mean, that you were a lot of fun to be around, that you were very charismatic, you were very charming, people liked you, maybe their friends liked you, their family members liked you, they always knew that they could invite you to specific parties, events, and that you would, you know, just shine. I feel as if this person always wanted to bring you as a date to certain work events or certain friends parties in a way. I feel as if this person kind of, I don't know why I'm picking up on this with the Three of Cups, but they kind of felt you as like being their arm candy in a way. They felt that you're very attractive and they, it's as if you were like the center of the attention areas, even if you didn't try to put yourself in the center of the room for all eyes to stare at you, it didn't matter. You just naturally were the person that everyone liked to be around, that everyone is drawn to and that everyone wants to get to know. And they felt very lucky, you know, having you as their partner, almost as if like, how was I able to get Aries? Aries had, I feel as if they knew you had options um, in a way and they were felt lucky that you chose them for a certain period of time. I'm also getting that um, someone likes to sleep naked or that you guys would cuddle naked after having sex. If you didn't have sex, that message isn't for you. But yeah, you were just a lot of fun to be around. You brought excitement into their life. You just got, you brought good energy, good vibes into their life. What they don't like about you, Seven of Wands are energy, Leo energy. So if you have Leo in your chart, you could be connected to a Leo. Yeah, this is, they feel blocked from you. They feel as if you are no longer wanting to fight for this, that you no longer are interested, and that you are completely disinterested. And instead of trying to put your energy out there again, you're on to the next. Your eyes are somewhere else. Maybe on a different person for some of you. Or that's what they think. And if that's the case, they just get crushed think, think, thinking that you're with someone else. I'm also getting um, a sense that they feel as if you're very defensive towards them. They feel as if right now, I mean, it could have been different before when you first started this connection, when you first started this relationship, even for some of you, that you were very open, that you were very real, you were very authentic, and now they can't get that access to you anymore. What they like the most about this connection, temperance. I mean, they feel, again, that there is a reason for you two to enter each other's life paths. That this was somehow divinely orchestrated in some way, or that there is a purpose for you two meeting each other. I feel as if, Aries, you brought a lot of comfort in this person's life. You brought a lot of healing into this person's life. I don't know if they have told you about some of their past. They may have gone through a tough past and they only opened up about it with you. And there were some things you said to this person about, you know, why they had experienced the things they had experienced or how sorry you were for what they experienced or whatever you said to this person Specifically, it's something you said to them that they've always held on to, that they always see life in a different perspective because of you, and it's what you did to heal them. Some of them even view you as like, I don't know, I just heard they're too good for me. Someone almost feels as if Aries 
that you were some sort of earth angel in their life. Again, like it was kind of similar to the Three of Cups energy where they felt so lucky to have had you or that you gave them your time of day. And it's because you, I feel as if, whether you realize this or not, Aries, you touch a lot of people. You leave an impression in people's lives that they have nothing but good things to say about you. You're just a sweet person, a loving person, a kind person, a very considerate person. And they miss that energy from you or what you brought to the connection and brought to the relationship. But then it's kind of like, well, then why? I'm hearing fear. Why not open up then? Why not show me that you appreciate me? Why not show me that? Especially for those of you where it was just they kept on using the excuse not the right time or not right now or it, why not? If you truly love me, if you truly had these feelings for me, why does time matter? Why does time make a difference? And that maybe even for some of you, they thought that you were patient enough to wait it out, that you're patient enough to wait for them to finally open up or for them to be ready, but they were wrong. What they don't like about the connection, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, again, strong Virgo energy. If you have Virgo in your chart, you're connected to a Virgo. I suggest watching the Virgo reading to see if there's any messages for you there. But I feel as if with the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight out of all the knights in the deck, right? And I feel differently than what I usually feel about this Knight of Pentacles that this person wanted to take their time. This person wanted to make sure that everything was comfortable enough for them in their own comfort within their own security. And then once they felt completely 100% safe, then that's when they would give you that pinnacle. You know, it, it's as if someone was trying to protect their heart, trying to protect their energy, trying to protect their security but they didn't take that opportunity to step out of their own comfort zone and to really offer you something that you would have accepted, that you would have loved to see from this person. But it was just always, I'm hearing procrastination. And someone may like wear low cut shirts or maybe like a couple of buttons unbuttoned there to show off some cleavage. Someone really likes someone's cleavage or chest. Someone may have a, like, a really nice chest. But it was, they were too cautious, they were too slow, and they didn't like the fact that they felt like they had to be rushed. Even if you guys have been hooking up or been in a connection for years, months, I mean, how much, how much longer do you expect me to wait for? Highest hopes with you. Aries is the magician, Virgo energy, Gemini energy. You could have those signs in your chart. You could be connected to one of those signs. I feel as if someone wants to manifest you back or someone wants to manifest another chance with you or someone wants to start showing you how much they care, showing you what they want to do or proving to you that this is something they still always had in mind despite the time that it took for them to finally make this apparent. I mean, it's as if they almost feel as if it's now or never. Even if you guys have already broken up, even if you've already walked away, they still feel like there's a chance to make this right again. Should they start using their passion, their drive, their motivation, their ideas to really implement something, but most importantly, their love, expressing that love and making you believe that there is really something there. 
I'm also getting someone with like a haircut that has like shaved sides. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. But maybe like someone, like one side of their head is shaved. Maybe both sides. And like the top is still kind of the full grown, I guess you would say. Deepest fear is Prince of Pentacles. A lot of earth energy. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. That you're on to something else. You're interested in manifesting another opportunity in love for someone who will show you that they're ready, that they're committed, that they're devoted. Now, not in a few months, not when the time is right for them, but when they're ready to put action and drive into providing you and giving you the value that you deserve, that you've been looking for, that you've been waiting for. Nothing less, nothing that is just a false hope. They're afraid that you've moved on and that you're planning something else with someone else or even just ready to branch out again. Maybe you started going on dating apps or you started mingling, you started making it known that maybe you're single now or that you're just ready to meet someone new. And that scares them. That scares them thinking that you're ready to move on to the next. For the likely outcome of the situation, Aries, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, I'm going to turn over this card for the likely outcome, and I'm going to pour, pull some more tarot cards and even oracle cards for some advice. Before we go, Aries, I will pull a card from this deck, and I am going to ask Spirit to tap into her energy again and to see if there's anything else that they want to say to you that they haven't said. Interesting. So it says the beast is loaded and ready to release the burden. So this is kind of coinciding with that magician energy. Finally, they're ready. I feel like they're ready to let go of their own insecurities, their own doubts, even that whole... They're ready to step out of the box finally. And I feel like that is what is needed in order for you to get interested in this again, to give this another chance again. They have to show you that they're ready and the passion has to be there. Like when I see the beast, it's like that instinctual energy of I'm going after this. I'm not sitting around. I'm not hoping and moping, but I'm actually going to do something about this. And then at the bottom of the deck, I can't get you out of my head. I can't get out of my head about you. The pain of not knowing where we stand eats at me every single second of the day. That's exactly what I was saying throughout this whole reading. But they got to figure it out. And for some of you, it's frustrating because you've spelled it out many times to them what they weren't doing. But still, it's as if they were more comfortable being in their own box and actually taking the risk to do something more for you. But the likely outcome here, we'll go ahead and see. Are they going to finally take that risk? Or are they just going to sit back and hope and wish and not do anything about it? So Aries, if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, go ahead and open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. I'd like to say, Aries, I am still selling my hand-picked crystal sets and my handmade zodiac candles at my online shop, mermaidscaleshop.com. I hand-select each crystal that goes in every crystal set that I feel every purchaser will resonate with. And I do hand-make hand all the zodiac candles on my online shop where I intuitively choose the colors and the scents that I feel every zodiac sign will vibe with. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, please feel free to check out my online shop where you can find the link in the description box of this video. If this is where we depart, Aries, I hope this reading resonated with you in some way. I hope you gained some insight and clarity in regards to your love life. If you did, please let me know. Please drop a comment below. Hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Aries, very, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Aries.